so I got the 63 Galaxy 500 to the house and uh, doing a little cleaning for the storm come in and uh, the trunk is perfect I mean there's no rust in the trunk at all I mean I cleaned all the garbage out and uh, really not a bad body it's a hard top no post and probably wasn't a bad of a car until the guy girlfriend uh, busted the glass out of it she hit it at at the windshield, knocked a hole in it, got all the side glass, but uh, good front bumper, headlights, uh, got a 390 in it, Let's see if I can get up under the hood again. Uh, had some chrome hood hinges on it at one time. Matter of fact, I'm going to oil those uh, with some PB blaster here. Keep from bending the hood. It's got a 390 in it. Mallory ignition. Uh, we poured some gas in it and it cranked for a few seconds and cut off. But I think it'll run. Uh, my battery leaning but uh body is straight it's got a little rust cancer on it down here at the rocker well i think that's what a trim was but i know right here there's a little rust on the door on the back door uh got all the trim uh, Somebody was fixing it up, it had these wire wheels on it, which one is on there and the tire keeps leaking down. But uh what's the dash say on it? Two hundred and eighty nope. Two hundred thousand miles? Two hundred thousand miles on the dash. Two oh eight. Well, it's got some miles on it. It's a column, I mean a floor shift car with bucket seats, which is unusual for a Galaxy. But this is the XL model. And it's no post. No post whatsoever. There's no post at all. Let's open the door. There's no post. This is actually part of the back door. Job. Stupid duct tape. No post. Uh, ain't no walls back there. No post. So, anyway, I'll get it fired up again after the storm pass and let y'all hear the 390 run. I gotta. Go back through these wires. We got it to hit off, but uh, I think uh, it wasn't pumping no fuel up. So, but anyway, 63 Ford Galaxy 500 XL.